what's going on people welcome to GFX capture in today's video I'm going to talk about the new After Effects 2022 so let's have a look it's very exciting the main changes are multi-frame rendering composition profiler or render time speculative previews and auto sketching now of course there are a few more but these are the main ones that I want to talk about in this video so first of all what is multi-frame rendering simply is taking full advantage of the multiple cores of your CPU to render your composition essentially reducing your rendering time you can enable or disable this setting as well simply go to edit come to preference and go to memory and performance now here you can enable or disable as I said and you can also change the percentage of CPU reserved for other applications as well the next one is composition profiler or render time now a lot of the times when you're trying to render the process takes a lot of time and you're not sure exactly what layer or what feature is causing that delay or that additional time in, in rendering. If you've added any effects like motion blur or color correction you don't actually know always what exactly is causing the delay. Now Adobe has added this cool and amazing feature simply you come down here right click to the columns and go to render time. This will tell you exactly on which layer how much time you're spending to, to render. But it doesn't actually stop here, it goes one level further. What it does is you can actually go into each layer and find out if there are any effects and how much render time each effect is taking. The next feature is speculative previews. Now what After Effects does is if you make a change, for example, let's move this object from here to there after effects automatically in the background will start generating a preview for you and the way it does it is as you can see in this green line while I'm not changing anything while I'm not doing anything after effects is automatically generating that preview for me so it is saving you a lot more time now in the background it's still working on these things so that when you want to play it it's a smooth composition you can also change your preferences for this one by coming to preferences and simply select previews over here you can change the settings how you want it from current time or around current time by default it's around current time and I like to just leave it on default or you can change it to from start of range the next one is motion sketch now Previously, if you wanted to animate a text or an object on a path, you would actually bring a path or create a path first um, and then animate it that way. With the, the motion sketch, things are now very, very easy. You simply go to motion sketch and then what you do is select your object. In this case, mine is the text. And over here, um, click on start capture. Once you start capturing, simply select and move your object or your text in my case and there you have it so it has automatically created the path now we can simply press the spacebar to see the animation okay there you go and also you can see the render time as well for each of the layer so this was just a quick introduction to the new features in after effects 2022 i hope you found it useful if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe Hit the like button, comment if you have any questions and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.